you mentioned not watching a ton of movies. We did watch one. Managed to sneak one in, and it's a doozy. Yeah. It's a doozy. Yeah, one, one that, we've been waiting for. Yeah, we've been waiting what almost a year now. And spoiler alert! It looks like we're going to be waiting for another one. Uh yeah, we are. There is a, there is a third one. They're doing, I, um, they did a trilogy. See, I did. Um, so we're talking about Halloween. Halloween kills in Halloween in kills. Yep. And midway through the movie, I googled it. I was curious. It looked like at the start of the movie, like the cinematography was different. It looked like it was produced totally different. But then I realized that the start was actually like a flashback to the original Halloween. That's why it was like old and looked heaps different. Yeah, so yeah that weird look. time jump that, that I did my head in a bit. I was like, am I watching yeah. the right movie here? So I, yeah, I, so I quickly, quickly Googled to find out um, if this has got like new producers or like cinematographers, but then it quickly flipped back to current times and it made sense. Yeah, but while I was doing that, I noticed on the Wikipedia page it actually had the title for the next one that comes out next year. Yep. So yeah, so. old, which is titled Halloween Ends. Yeah, we got Halloween in so, 2018. Honestly, Halloween kills I can't see this year. Halloween ever ending. And I think it's yet just the end of this new rebranded trilogy, basically. Um, it's yeah, I, it's the twelfth installment in the Halloween franchise, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Oh, this, what this one was the twelfth, so they're going to stop it. Unlucky number 13, are they? That makes sense. Yeah, I think that's probably the plan. <laughs> never it's, had that in mind. Seems like a good idea. <laughs> and uh, they, I think the delay actually kind of worked in their favor last year as well, because the, it's now worked out that Halloween in 2018 came out 40 years after the original. Halloween Kills mm. came out 40 years after the original sequel. And then Halloween Ends is going to be exactly 40 years after the third installment yeah right but i think the I the year delay kind of worked in their favor do you reckon it was a plan all along uh no reckon... no they were definitely what, planning to get out last year one? and capitalize on the no, like the that. halloween ends but like halloween ends do you reckon it's, just, it's always been planned to do this last one uh, i think it's a big call to like close it like close the page on or the cover or whatever yeah i I don't know what they're going to do. Like maybe they just refresh and start all over, but that'd be a bit strange, I guess. Someone will pick it back up in 20 years for sure. It's too. It's, it's too big to of an up. iconic. Michael Myers franchise. is an incredible character. <clears throat> um, um, thoughts though. It, it, someone asked me what was better, the first one or the Halloween kills. And I said, well, Probably the first one, taking nothing away from Halloween Kills because just the hype and it was the first one back and it was all different or new, but taking nothing away from Halloween Kills. Uh, yeah. I, I thought that they carried the story on nicely. It wasn't, I heard some people say it was a bit of a cheese fest, but I didn't see that. Halloween is a cheese fest, really, if you want to paint it with that brush. Yeah, so like this one begins right after the 2018 uh, remake ends with Mike in Laurie's house while it's on fire. Uh, he escapes somehow yeah. and then continues on the murderous rage through the town. And yeah, I, I think this one was not quite to the same level as the 2018 Halloween. Um, the kills were very creative. I'll give them that. The, the, the murders yeah. and like, especially the, so there's a couple that were unrealistic one, but the one that stood out when he, um, he was in that house and he grabbed like the fluoro light tube yep. and like smashed it and like jammed that through that lady's throat. I was like, oh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, but it's just a movie. I just reminded myself it's just a movie. Don't get too carried away. That one definitely stuck out in my mind because I was like, oh, that's very like deathmatch wrestling. That's a, yeah. a favorite weapon of deathmatch wrestlers. So I was like, hey. Well, that's why they're going to. Someone's been watching their wrestling. It. But then again, if, if, um, yeah, do you reckon he's a bit of a wrestling fan? Imagine Mike Myers in the ring. He'd be unstoppable. He'd be the, the undertaker of. I'm, um, I'm trying to get my head around. Is he, can we call him a superhero? He can't die. Well, I'm curious to see how they kill him. 
that's that was my biggest there was issue a three, with this movie. There was three times in that movie I was like, there, that's it. Yep. So he got shot a few times. I'm like, how the hell? Like, didn't he get like, shot in the back and he's getting his head stomped on? Yep. Like, yeah, like the whole... I'm like, how's he getting up for this? Then he had like a shotgun in the back of his head. Like, yeah, so like... I'm like he's gone. When he's but going on that murderous... When he's on that murderous rampage, the whole like town rises up and the whole mob mentality of, no, we've had enough of this crazy guy going around killing everyone. So they all that fight back. That was a bit frustrating to watch, hey? The mob rising They all up. just... Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the hospital scene and they were... Because um, when that... In the first one, when the, um, like the mental hospital bus crashed and they all got out and that other little guy escaped... Mm-hmm. Then they all, all the the mob at the hospital thought he was running around. He, they thought he was Mike Myers. And then they were like, then um, yeah, which was ridiculous because he's not even anywhere near the same yeah, size. <laughs> yeah, well, like, he wears a mask. Yeah, but, yeah, but he's not. Yeah, then then that, they, that was sort of like wholesome moment when she, um, what, what was the name? Um, Jamie Lee Curtis character. Her daughter was like protecting him and trying to lock him in the room, but. It almost felt like she trapped him in there and set him up to be murdered. <clears throat> but that was, yeah, it was a pretty tragic ending to that sequence. Yeah, that poor guy, like, cops the short end of the the straw there. Uh, um, Very gory. Um, it was pretty, actually pretty cool how they showed the aftermath of what happened there. I won't, tell, won't give too much of it. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I really enjoyed <laughs> it. It was very gory in the movie. It was, yeah, it was cool. I really enjoyed the, the kills well. and those bits and pieces. Yeah, they did them very well. But like I said, it wasn't cheesy at all. I didn't, like, obviously, it's like a cheesy franchise, but like it wasn't, nothing was un, like completely unrealistic. Like, it was enjoyable. Like, um, Plot-wise, I thought it was a bit thinner than, like, the 2018 one just felt like it had a bit more. Oh, there was heaps more to it, heaps more substance. It was like a good movie, like a good story. But yeah. I suppose this was just... This one felt more like the just open. a basic horror slasher. Um, I didn't like the, the yeah. time jumps backwards and forwards because they weren't like super yeah, obvious tell, like that a, they would Yeah, that's jumps. what I mean. Like the start of the movie, I was like, oh, this looks weird. I was like, has this got a new cinematographer, director? It like, looks very different. Yeah, they, and like, the Mike Myers costume is very similar. They didn't really make it too much different in the flashback yeah yeah they didn't make it clear they didn't make it clear with the flashback they should it should have put it up on the screen like nice yeah it, it ne- or it needed to have more like more effects done to the actual footage to make it clear that like yeah. hey this is a different time period so it looks a bit more grainy or something where it didn't really do that yeah exactly um i didn't like but, that um, they a- basically sidelined laurie for the whole movie after she got stabbed she basically just spends the whole movie doing nothing sitting in a hospital i was like um yeah she's true. she's kind of like it's her the halloween franchise is her and Myers. it's about her and yeah exactly he's not in this yeah, at all you make a good point there oh well maybe she comes in a heavy next oh, well, what do you reckon did she kill mike yeah i think She'd it comes to. down that's, to that's set up it's set up like that i think it comes down to like a, a one-on-one between her and mike to, it'll be oh, especially after very spoiler her daughter died so Oh, she did too. Yeah. yeah. So well, we don't know. We assume. Oh no, she did. Yeah, she definitely does. She actually did. Um, yeah, that was a bit. That was a big kill. Yep. So yeah, and like. Yeah, they weren't afraid to kill off some prominent characters in <laughs> in Halloween Kills, were they? Yeah, I think they just let everyone that was just in the Got town. Up. They can. They're all just fluff. They can disappear. It, it's really about these core group from the original Halloween. Yeah, I like how they brought in the. Um, how they tied in, made up a bit of a story about the cop. Yep. How they sort of made it sort of almost his vendetta against Myers. Yeah, I, think, what, I think they've in built a way, it. They so sort that... of took the attention off Laurie a bit and put it onto the cop. Um, my other issue was like, obviously the time jumps were hard and I didn't like how yeah. it didn't really feel like a... the, the 2018 one was all about Myers coming to Laurie's house and Laurie setting up to defend. Whereas this one kind of jumped between half a dozen different characters and had heaps of different plots going on. And I was like, okay, this is a bit confusing. Can we just pick one or two and just stick with them for a little bit longer than we are? And like you said, the supernatural part, I was like, wait, so is he like actually supernatural or is he just a dude? And I think they've kind of set up now that, yeah, he is supernatural. 
the mob catch him, they shoot him, they beat the crap out of him, and he gets up and then just takes them all out. Yeah, um, he really rose from the ashes there, didn't he? It was, um, I was like, he's not getting away with this, that's done. Yeah, so he's basically risen from the ashes twice. Physically, the first time. I like, sh- <laughs> I like shooting him. It was actually cool, too, when he stepped out of the house without his mask on. No? Mm-hmm. We nearly got his face. Hey, did you... Um, I actually think I noticed when I was Googling the two movies, the first and the second, I think that's a different Mike Myers than the second one. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's the same actor. Really? It was the same actor. What's his name? James Jude Courtney. Yes, I think it's the same guy. Oh, no. So they've got two down because there was a different one for the flashbacks for the original. Uh, they obviously had a different actor for that. Yeah, so there was a bit more. Technically, yeah, there was, there was two different Mike Myers yep. characters in the movie. I, I, I like with the, the mob too that they kind of became the evil that they were scared of where they when they do chase down the the mental hospital patient, like they kind of bring about yeah. the horror that they're trying to prevent. And like yeah. like we said, this this one leaves a bit of deep this one leaves the ending open for Halloween ends, which is due October fourteen next year. Um, if I could have my time again, I'd wish I didn't know there was going to be Halloween ends coming out next year. Okay. I wish I just I found that out at the end of the movie. Yep. Because every scene, I'm like, well, he obviously doesn't die now. Yeah, true. <laughs> Sorry to spoil it. That kind of, kind of does ruin it for you if you know that's coming. Yeah, like, well, he's obviously not going to die. Like, just how? Then it becomes like, well, how's he going to get away from this? Yeah, like I, I went into this knowing that the sequel or the, the oh, third so you're, was you're, coming yeah. because oh. uh, they the original I mean, plan was to film. They yeah. The original plan was to film oh, so now. Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends at the same time. But then because of, because, it... because of all the COVID situation and all the extra things that they had to go through, it became a, a much bigger project than they originally planned. So yeah. they ended up splitting and they're doing, they're, I think they're currently filming Ends. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah, right. So that'll be... So, yeah. Just yeah, I've, I've, loved, I've loved this reboot of the franchise though. It's been made well. Yeah, I, like I said, I think they've definitely done 2018 justice. was better. Uh, this one was probably. Yeah. I think this one was necessary to flesh out the story. They did it well. And get us to the yeah, next they... one. It didn't really do a lot for itself, but I think it was a necessary step to get to the next one. Yeah, so I, it was like the f- 2018 was a clear, like opening sort of monologue and a bit of juice. Then the middle one, where we just seen Halloween Kills, was just straight up whatever I wanted mm-hmm. originally. Then I think I'm hoping the last one's going to be like a bit of a bookend where it's sort of a slow burn and like a almost like a bit of a ballad, if you will. Yeah, I hope I hope the next one just like does a nice job of closing out everything and sealing up the story so that we we can leave with thirteen Halloween movies that have a nice ending that's defined and not leaving big open questions yeah but yeah all in all very it was very happy with it definitely wasn't the cheese fest which was i was told yeah yeah it's definitely like just a classic slasher with elements of that but i think there was there was enough there to build to the next one yeah. uh, you mentioned watching 